This is going to be a vase. I'll add the background and some poppy flowers. Although it may not look that way, this picture already has elements of a raincoat and two jackets in it. Old, discarded clothing find a new place in the works of Anton Andreev. I don't use the seams of jackets. As a result, I end up throwing away a lot of material. I mostly use the sleeves and the back. I had a few raincoats. One raincoat had enough material for two pictures. Two years ago, when Anton Andreev was just starting to work on his unusual still lifes, he couldn't even tell genuine leather from artificial. He began using old jackets and later bags and purses, everything that allowed him to make sunflowers and poppies. These flowers are found everywhere on his works. Here's a golden raincoat. Parts of it are already on display in galleries. Recently, I got a call from a friend who said he was throwing away a couch. So he cut a piece of material from it for me. Someone used to sit on this. And what I do is give this piece of couch a new life. More than 20 years ago, Anton Andreev, a priest by vocation, moved to New York from the Black Sea port city of Odessa. In his spare time between sermons, Anton works on his pictures and signs them Tony Bless. People are already aware that I make pictures from leather and now call me offering things as material. They say, we're throwing away a couch, a chair. Anton's wife is always on the lookout for sources of material for her husband's art. At first, I especially bought leather in stores for him. It's quite expensive. Around $35 will buy you a piece about this size. But then I saw so many jackets on sale, and if it's up to 50% off on a discount, a jacket can be had for just 5 to $6. So I wouldn't buy things for myself. I'd just buy a bunch of jackets and raincoats for him. Right now, Anton Andreev's art is on display in galleries in Manhattan. The artist is hoping to eventually exhibit some in Kiev, reported by Yulia Boshko from New York City for UATV.